So I have three uh, yards here. I wonder how many uh, feet that is. Ah! Oh my God. This says one liter. I wonder how, it says one equals 1,000 milliliters. I wonder how many milliliters that is. What does that look like? I, I, I guess that's what it looks like in droppers. Hey everyone, uh, this is Mrs. Cates. We're going to talk about measurement conversions today. First of all, I want to um, show you guys really quickly um, this on the left hand side. You're not going to have this in your notebook, but each of your teachers will have a copy of this for you in their classroom that you can use whenever you need it. Now, you probably recognize it because it is exactly what is in your star tests every year, and also you saw it recently on your benchmark. So uh, this is a great resource that you definitely want to use whenever you are talking about measurement conversions. So <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through the process of converting units of measurements. And we're just going to start with an example. And we're going to convert six gallons into blank quarts. Okay. So if you imagine a gallon, a gallon is about uh, the size of a gallon of milk. So imagine that. We want six of those. And we are changing it into quarts. Now quarts are smaller than gallons. So um, that kind of gives you an idea of what your final answer should look like. Okay. We're going to start with just setting up a simple um, table, which is going to look similar to our input-output tables we did during our last unit. Instead of X and Y, we're just going to call this gallons and quarts. Okay. Now, using our star chart, we can see here that one gallon is equal to four quarts. So that's the first piece of information we're going to put on our table. One gallon, four quarts. Now, looking at the relationship between these two numbers, you can see that my number is increasing, and it is increasing by a multiple of four. So our rule here is gallons times four is gonna give us the number of quarts. So just like we found rules in an input-output table, that's what you're looking at here as well. So if I had two gallons, two times four would be eight quarts. Three gallons would be three times four, 12 quarts. Four gallons, four times four is 16 quarts. Five gallons is 20 quarts. And six gallons would be six times four, which is 24 quarts. So our answer to this problem would be 24 quarts. OK. Looking at another example, we're now going to look at the metric system. Notice you have customary and metric. So for our metric example, we're going to do 350 centimeters, and we're going to change that to meters. Okay. So again, we're going to set up a table centimeters, meters, okay. Looking at our star chart, we are going to find the relationship between centimeters and meters right here. One meter is 100 centimeters. So on our table, we're going to put 100 centimeters and one meter. Now, notice the relationship is a little different here. Up here, I was increasing. Here, I am decreasing. And we are decreasing by 100 to, to 1. So in this one, we're going to be dividing by 100. Okay? For, metric, for conversions, we're either going to be multiplying by a number or dividing by a number. Okay? So, um, I need to get all the way to 350 centimeters. So I'm going to now say 200 centimeters would be equivalent to 2 meters. Okay. 300 centimeters 
divided by 100 is 3 meters. And then the next one would be 400 if I was going in the same pattern, but I only need 350. If it were 400 centimeters, 400 divided by 100 is 4 meters, but I need it to be exactly in between 300 and 400, which is 350. Okay, right in the middle of 3 and 400. I am going to find what is exactly in the middle of 3 and 4, or 350 divided by 100, which is 3.5 or 3.5, however you want to write it, 3.5 meters. So you can see here that there is a possibility for us to be getting into decimal and fractions, so be extra careful whenever you're doing these conversions because it won't always come out to be a nice whole number. All right, now it's your turn. So on the left-hand side of your page, you're gonna answer these three sample questions. And um, I'm going to put the star chart back up here for you so that you can um, see any um, resources that you need here to help you answer those questions. So use this to help you answer these three questions. I wonder how many uh, feet that is. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> 